makeup tutorial which I'm so excited for because I've not done one in forever. I wanted to do a smoky eye for summer because I can't remember the last time I did a really nice smoky, bronzy, warm look. I've used a lot of warm toned browns and plums on the eyes because I wanted to keep it really nice and bronzy and warm for summer. Not used any blacks and I've not done a winged eyeliner because I wanted to keep it nice and simple and easy. I love the fact that there's no blacks or eyeliner in this look as well. It just looks really effortless and natural. I can't really explain what I'm trying to go for with this look but this is what I came up with so I hope you guys like it. Just want to quickly say as well thank you so so much for everyone who came to BeautyCon and everyone who came over and said hello to us. You guys were so nice and so kind and so polite met so many amazing people that I look up to as well it was such a good day I actually vlogged it all and I uploaded it onto my vlog channel so I will link that down below if you've not seen it got another vlog coming on Sunday as well so make sure that you subscribe but yeah if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and comment down below what you are most excited for for summer so yeah let's go. So starting off with a primer I'm actually using an aftershave balm by Nivea which sounds really weird because obviously it's supposed to be for men but if you watch Nikki tutorials you will know why I'm using this. It's basically got a ingredient in it that allows products to stick to it so it works really well as a primer because it enables your makeup to last all day long. I used it at Beautycon and my makeup literally stayed on all day so I've been loving this so I'm just applying this all over my face as usual. Then for foundation I'm using my L'Oreal Lumi Magique because this is my favourite drugstore foundation ever. It just makes your skin look super luminous and glowing. As you can see I've got quite a few blemishes around my mouth at the minute which is due to a product that I just did not agree with. They are clearing up now but this really helps to cover them up so I'm just packing that on with a Sigma F80 and as you can see I'm really pushing the product into my skin rather than dragging it around just to make sure we get the best coverage possible and obviously it doesn't match my face either but it matches the rest of my body looks slightly orange on camera but I promise it looks fine by the end of the video to highlight and conceal obviously I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear you guys know I love this stuff I use this in the lighter shade NW15 to create a really nice highlight under the eyes so I'm just applying it under my eyes on my chin and then just in between like my brows on my forehead and then I'm just going to blend it all out with a Sigma F86 I think. I'm going to link all the products and brushes down below so you'll know where to find them. And then to prevent my under eye concealer from creasing I'm just using the banana shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and just packing that on with the Real Techniques setting brush just to make sure that we get no creases throughout the day. And then continuing with face, I'm just going to contour with the same kit using the Fawn shade and the NARS ITA or ETA brush. Never know how to say it, but I'm just carving out my cheekbones and then I'm going to just bronze my temples, not so much contour, just to add a bit of colour and warmth to the face. You always want to blend your contour upwards as well, but I have a full video on this, so I'll just link it down below. And then moving on to blush, I'm using Damsel Flight by Becca. This is such a pretty shade and it goes with so many makeup looks. So I'm just popping that on the Real Techniques blush brush and then blending that from the apples of my cheeks back towards the back of my head. <laughs> And then of course to highlight, you guys know how much I love my Mary Luminizer, so I'm just taking that again on a Sigma brush and blending it out on the tops of my cheekbones to add a highlight and then I'm also going to do the same on my cupid's bow and slightly on my forehead. So finally we can move on to the eyes, I'm just starting off with Latte by Makeup Geek which is a really nice warm tone transition shade. Just taking this on a big blending brush by Sigma and I'm just going to blend this through my crease and up towards the brow bone just so that we get a really nice diffusion of colour and it'll help to blend out all the darker shades later. Makeup Geek shadows are really affordable as well so this one is Frappe and again it's by Makeup Geek and I'm just using the same technique. They're very similar shades so you don't have to use both but it just helps to sort of build the colour and get like a really nice dimensional look throughout the crease. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You can tell I've not done a voiceover in a really long time. <laughs> Moving on, I'm taking Swiss Chocolate by MAC and I'm going to use a slightly more precise blending brush for this. Again, I will link them all down below, but we don't really want to blend this one up towards the brow bone so much because it's slightly darker. So I'm concentrating this more in the crease and just blending it in with those other two shadows that we packed on earlier. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm going to take a mix of Burlesque by Makeup Geek and Foley by MAC. You don't have to use both, just use whatever you've got that's a sort of cranberry shade. I'm taking this on a tapered blending brush and I'm just going to blend this on, well, throughout the outer V. So we're not taking this all the way in, we're just going to concentrate it on the outer part of the eye and again, blend it out. If you don't feel comfortable using really dark eyeshadows or you're worried you're going to mess it up, honestly guys, just take your time. If you put a tiny bit on at a time and then blend it out and do it that way, it turns out way much better than putting too much on at once. And then this is my favourite bit. I'm taking an infallible eyeshadow by L'Oreal in the shade Amber Rush. This is so pretty and the best way to apply these is with your fingertip. So I'm just taking it on my fingertip and then packing it onto the lid and it is so, so pretty. It makes me want to cry. After that, the eyes are nearly done. To turn this into a bit more of a smoky eye, I just put Burlesque on my lower lash line about three quarters of the way in. Not all the way in because I didn't really want to close the eyes up too much. I wanted my eyes to look nice and big. So I'm just packing it on and then blending it out because I find that's the best way to do my lower lash line. You just do whatever you're comfortable with though. And then after that I popped on lashes which I did off camera. Now I'm doing my brows with my Anastasia Brow Pomade and as you can see I'm so desperately in need of a new one of these but I'm just filling in my brows as usual with an angled brush and that product. My eyelash glue hasn't dried yet either, so please just excuse that mess. <laughs> Then to finish off the eyes, I'm just going back in with Mary Luminizer, which we use to highlight our face. And I'm just taking this on a pencil brush to highlight the inner corners and the brow bones, just to tie the whole look together and make everything look a bit more luminous. Then all we have left to do is our lips, and this is a lip pencil by NYX. I can't remember the shade, but you can probably read it there, and like I said, I'll link everything down below. But I really, really like this. Um, the formula is really nice and I was really impressed because obviously NYX is very affordable. Unfortunately the colour was a tiny bit too pink for what I wanted to go for for this look. So I'm just taking Beige Tribute which is number 10 by YSL and I'm just popping this over top just to make it a tiny bit more nude. But after that we are done so I really hope you guys like this look. Let me know if you recreate it and send me any photos if you do. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye! said that you loved her cause that's what she wanted to hear but you knew